Ever thought of earning money from online tutoring? If yes, do you know how to set up your coaching classes? If not, then you're on the right video. And if you're the one who genuinely wishes to help others and shares their knowledge with them, then for a fact online tutoring is a rewarding career. Yes, you might not be aware of the potential online coaching carries with itself, but it's one of the most rising areas of the field in current times. Practically speaking, the capability to provide tutoring services to people via the internet makes it a business, a business that can be started with only a small investment of capital. Yes, with very little money, you can unlock your opportunity to earn much more than your investment. The time investment required is another matter. Now, speaking of the steps and consideration that has to be taken care of in the process of creating an online coaching business requires a lot from the tutor, not in terms of money, but various aspects. Starting off, what you need to do is carefully evaluate your market segment, update your knowledge, accurately identify potential customers, and invest in being consistent. Welcome back to our channel. The topic that we'll be discussing today is how to start a coaching business online. But before we start, subscribe to your channel and don't miss any updates. Let's get started already. So who is an online coach and what really is online coaching? Alright, so, online coaches are not one but the ones who guide their particular or a concerted person to achieve their desired goals and provide objectives, along with enthusiastic support and feasible advice. Precisely, here at this stage, the personal service and help provided by the coach is monetized and delivered via the internet. Of course, you just can't ignore the fact that technology makes coaching a viable career option for people who want to run a home business. Your target market can only be achieved via the internet, which will obviously include customers from all over the world. And through video conferencing, you can form the personal connections needed to effectively guide your customers. Become your own coach. Life comes with experience, learning, falling, achieving, and many more things. With time and experience, we tend to become experts in many fields. The same goes with teaching. Hence, to become an online coach, you must explore your core competencies, areas of expertise that give you unique qualifications to help others, and then practice sharing those skills. Ever wondered about your inner skill, something that really makes you different from anyone in areas like saving money, staying healthy, or parenting? Are you an expert in management or other business-related topics? Can you help people achieve their career goals? No matter what your core skills are, you can literally, any day, any time, monetize your expertise by inviting people in the field for help. The general idea is to provide expert advice and guidance through video conferences and to proceed in a structured way that's easy to profit from. Keep this in mind. Be aware to not share all your knowledge at once. Instead, provide a program that slowly distributes your coaching recommendations. Practically speaking, this approach will not only match the speed at which customers should continue, but however, it'll also contribute to services over a longer period. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the different and most popular coaching areas so that you can gain better knowledge over your preference. Counseling type. You can choose any niche market for your coaching business. If you have the required experience and the ability to share experiences, you can successfully help people achieve their goals. Life coaching. Clients of life coaching may want to become more confident, improve their coping skills, or better control their anger. They may need help to deal with any challenges in life. For life coaching, the target market is vast, delivering it a very successful niche market for online coaching. Financial coaching. This coaching ordinarily has a motivating impression and provides the input required to control personal finances. They can help plan family budgets, implement saving strategies, etc. Career Guidance Clients who confront obstacles when starting their careers or want to change their professions may seek help from a professional coach. Health Coaches In this one, part personal training, part nutrition experts, and proficient in all things related to health, coaches in this niche domain can help people deal with health issues and achieve fitness goals. Business Coaching this is an immense section, including coaching various personalities to deal with entrepreneurial challenges, helping marketing and sales staff to achieve better results, etc. Now, we learned about how to actually start and run a coaching class. Step 1. Determine your purpose. Your first step should be to pick what kind of coach you'll provide and formally determine your coaching philosophy. What are you best at? What are you most interested in? What help do many people need? If you write down several answers to each of these questions, one answer may appear in all three lists. This is what you should teach. What is your coaching philosophy? Will you provide time-tested, actionable advice to help customers achieve their goals? Or will you take a more organic approach to guide customers to make their own decisions? An important first step in creating an online coaching business is to write a mission statement. It may seem strange to create a mission statement for a one-person company, but doing so will help you refine your intentions. After you fully understand the direction of your coaching business, 
you'll be able to proceed with the initial preparation steps. Step 2. Organize your material people. Who will be interested in your counseling services? Start with basic demographic data such as gender, age, and income level, and then examine other factors that define your ideal customer more accurately. Attempt to distinguish the fundamental aspects that make someone genuine anticipation for your coaching business. If your early counseling work did not work well, it's most likely because you accepted clients who didn't match your counseling service. A thorough understanding of your target market will help you avoid this mistake. Step 3. Hold Certification If you want to do it overnight, you may need to be certified as an expert in the coaching field of your choice. This is not required, but updating your knowledge and skills can have a positive impact in two ways. You'll provide better guidance. The current certification will give you an updated view of the traditional wisdom in your field, reveal ways to success that you may not have considered, and improve your understanding of what customers need help with. You will attract more customers. Certification in your field can prove that you're an expert. You still need to convince people that you can coach, but when you can prove your knowledge, this will increase your credibility and help convince people that you may be the right coach for them. Let's now see how to treat your expertise as a valuable commodity. Step 4. Productize your expertise. Even among other services, counseling is far from a tangible service. Therefore, it helps to think of your coaching as a product when planning your coaching business. You can deliver your products in a structured way that can be monetized. For example, suppose you're a financial coach with repeatable strategies to help people get out of debt within 12 months. You can use one or two paragraphs to summarize the entire plan and cover it in a tutorial session, but this method has very little funding. On the other hand, if you expand the details of the strategy and divide the information into 12 pieces, you'll have a one-year plan that can be managed in a monthly tutorial. You can provide a six-month plan that explicitly excludes block 7 to 12 customers who pay half of the recommendations and complete half of the work receive half of the revenue. Determining how to productize your knowledge is a crucial step and deserves great attention when planning your coaching business. Step 5. Acquire a domain name and build a website. You should buy a domain name that represents your coaching business and create a support website. This is not only a place to send potential customers who want to learn about your coaching services, but it'll also serve as a portal for supplementary content that your customers need to access. To simplify the website creation process, you can use a WordPress theme designed specifically for online tutoring businesses. Web hosting will not be a problem. You can find affordable shared hosting that meets all your needs, including plans that provide trunky access to WordPress and support for e-commerce features, which will help collect fees from your coaching clients. At HostPapa, we decided to provide you with the most convenient solution possible. This was all about it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section.